Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh, and thank you for watching my the other videos about SSEM tutorial and MEM tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about uh, what is Microsoft Intune in this video. So uh, let me start this video, and uh, we'll try to understand uh, what is Intune. So now here is like Intune is part of Microsoft Endpoint Protection Manager. So when we club Intune and MECM all together, that is comes like a Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So basically, our Intune is part of MEM, we can say. And in my the last video, I created for what is Endpoint Protection Manager. So Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So if you have not watched that video guys, please go back to my YouTube channel and uh, I will be giving this link in a description to understand what is MEM and what is Microsoft mobility and security. So we can able to understand like where our Intune is stand inside the MEM and inside the Microsoft mobility and security. So let us start this video. So what is Intune? So here, let me give you the something information. Uh, when we are managing any device with the on-premises infra, I mean to say when we are using the company infra, company distribution point, that is like a remote or locally distribution point, their MPs and client is SSEM client is installed on your device and that is communicating with your SSEM and taking updates like application and patch. So that kind of infra comes under your on-premises infra and that is managed by the SSEM. So this is the one type of solution, the way how we are um, managing the device. But there is a another way Microsoft introduced that you can manage your the mobile device and your the uh, or the application. So in the uh, in in the Intune, when you when you are managing any of the device which is not connected with your company infra or like you can say you don't have any of the VPN because when you are using the SSEM, you need a VPN connection to connect your the company infra because it's on premises. But Intune is the solution where uh, you need just only the internet internet access and you do not need any of the VPN connection to connect your the company infra because Intune is hosted in a cloud and it's nowhere related to your company infra. So can say it is related, but that hosting is happened in a cloud. So your machine, if it is connected with the internet, then directly it can go to the your Intune console to get the application, patch or the other configuration files, anything you are going to deploy on your the devices. So I can say like Intune is the another solution to manage your device, which is in your the internet. So uh, now let me go to the another slide. Here is Microsoft Intune. So Microsoft Intune uh, is categorized based on uh, two things uh, that is called MDM and MEM. So what is the MDM? That is called like a mobile device management. So mobile device management is, is something that is to manage your devices, it's, I can say uh, not only the your mobile, so it comes your all the types of devices like your Mac OS, your Windows 10, your uh, iOS, and your uh, and the what you say desktop, laptop, and the other things. So all types of devices comes under the MDM. So you can manage all devices in your under the MDM when we talk about the application deployment or application configuration or their compliance or their reporting that comes under the your MAM 
that is called like a mobile application management so these are the two major features uh, in the intune uh, that categorized by the microsoft is defined like a uh, mdm and mem so they are the two things to manage a, a device okay so now why we need intune so this is a like a big question now why now we understood what is the intune so with the intune we can manage mobile devices or we can manage a device which is connected in the internet and that device cannot reach to the company infra might be because of the vpn connection or the machine is not in domain or there could be a multiple reasons okay so that uh, device you want to use uh, to manage with the intune okay so uh, in intune inside the intune there is a one option byod so that i will like, explain you more in depth in the, my coming video what is byod so byod is something bring your own device so when you are uh, using your personal device office work that called like a byod so you can create uh, a policy and push it to your personal device and the device will enroll into the intune then your company policies will apply to your the personal device that comes under the byod bring your own device so in that particular device you can do your personal work and your office work both all together so that is all about the intune so let's go with the why we need the intune now so what intune will provide us the facility so i given a uh, not much brief information it's just like in a short i write it to give you the conclusion why we need intune so manage device to be a hundred percent cloud with intune so suppose you want to manage a device with a hundred percent cloud in the sense your uh, device will not connect with your the company infra it's hundred percent managed as a cloud based so you can do with the intium but uh, when a scenario like you want to manage a device which a, like a in a, inside the office also and at your home but you don't want to use the vpn so in that scenario you can use the co-management so co-management uh, is like a you can say it's a middle of things or it's a like a feature where you can utilize your own premises infra that is uh, sscm or mecm and the intune so suppose you want to manage a device in a on premises and the cloud so that comes under the your co-management so now deploy and authenticate apps on device so what you need to do when you are deploying any of the application on your device with the intune that you can deploy application and even you can put the authentication based on your azure active directory so when you are log into the application it will authenticate with your the azure active directory so you can put the authentication top of your application that was deployed with your intune now another feature is like secure or protect your company information the user uh, the way users access and share the information okay so in intune suppose you enroll a device in intune and uh, that that you can protect and you can secure with your the intune policies like for an example uh, you you got a company email access in your device so you are getting the emails and uh, like you have the uh, some uh, important files ppds or there are the any pass password files or company information sheet in your email so what uh, usually people can do they can download that file 
and they can connect with the USB cable they can transfer the data but you can't when your Intune is implemented and you put the data protection security in your device then you cannot transfer the company data to your personal device so this is the one more advantage we have to protect your data another thing is uh, implement compliance policy on device and apps so what is that you can create a company uh, you can create a compliance policy based on your company or your the company security and you can deploy to the that device is enrolled to the Intune so based on the company security uh, or security rules and regulations like if you are using any um, any device that enroll in a in a Intune so that you cannot have access for like a Google Drive or you cannot access any of website which is malicious infected or the virus infected so you can uh, put like a uh, such conditions so in your the personal device you cannot access such websites or you can put a condition if the site is not a secure cell that you cannot access in your the personal device also so that kind of security you can provide through the Intune. Now define your own rule and configure settings on the personal and the organization own device. Okay, so you can create or define your own rules or you can create a policies and you can deploy to the uh, on your device or your personal device which in, uh, enroll to the Intune or that organization on the device support organization on the device that means is uh, some of the companies is asked to employees is you can purchase your own device and we cannot give you the laptop so you can bring your laptop to the company and company will uh, put the uh, the policy with the Intune okay now this device is used for the company purpose also so you have the more restrictions so you cannot uh, use any of the nonsense website or any of the non secure website or the malicious website or you cannot copy uh, data by using the data cable so such kind of policies you can implement on your the device now let's understand how the Intune works so basically here if you see in it in the diagram this is a really very good diagram and this is the one of greatest diagram which I like it from Microsoft so Intune so here if you seen this is what the Intune is here Microsoft Intune and here is a Azure Active Directory so when you enroll your device in a in a Azure Active Directory okay before that let me explain you one more point here how your device will enrolled into the Intune so before enrolling a device you need to put enrollment in a Azure so mean um, you need to enroll a device into Azure Active Directory with the following the rules regulations or the prerequisite from the Azure Active Directory so when your device is enrolled in Azure Active Directory then here is a group targeting so that particular group you can target in Intune and these devices will enroll to Intune and in the Azure Active Directory you can create a conditionally access and the authentication and the authorization access also so that policies will replicate to the Intune console and later on you can enroll a device or import a device into Intune so here is a three categories for a Intune like a configure devices data protect and the manage apps so configuring a device is like create a profiles or the configuration files then it will go to the like a uh, telecom management and the data from the uh, telco on uses then it will uh, it will reach out to your the mobile 
and uh, in the data protection layer what you have when when you put a like a data protection um, policies or the compliance setting it will uh, it will reach out to your mobile and how it will work in between there is a uh, things is a mobile threat defense connector so what will happen suppose uh, in your device if you have any virus infected already virus or you are trying to access any website which is containing the virus so it will not reach to the intune so that your mobile threat defense connector will stop these kind of threats or like you can say the malaysia's malware trojan horse so it can protect all types of malaysia's then it is a like a, a device compliance policy so what will happen in that read the device compliance policy information then it will go to your the neck which will decide and which will uh, recognize uh, which type of this device suppose you you take in your uh, um, device into the office and when you enter in the office and you connected with the office network then it will recognize okay this device is a like a and now this user in on premises network and it will show you like a okay this device is a in inside the company and the policy will be different and here is authorization and uh, authentication so as you know our intune works as a sas concept in azure so this is a sas is a something is azure concept uh, uh intune is work with the sas model sap apps model uh, and that is like a to it will comes like a custom web you can access a um, intune portal to um, uh, get the application or uh, if you are pushing the application from intune so basically your intune is work on the sap apps model so okay guys so hope you understand uh, something about the intune and uh, so i will be creating a more videos about the intune like a mdm and mam how it is work how the and, and the device enrollment happen or how the co-management work so thank you guys for watching this video stay soon in my next video